Hey guys, so today's vlog takes you on our experience of Hotel Icons, the market restaurant dinner buffet located in Dean Sajo. I'll put all the details in the description box below and let's get started with the food tour. So the first thing that you see is the dessert section which totally entices you and makes you super excited for dessert later on. One thing that the market is particularly known for is their durian based desserts. So here you can see there's some durian based tarts, some rolls, panna cotta and cake and the smell was super super strong. If you're not a fan of durian, don't worry, they have some other assorted desserts like chocolate green tea vanilla cake, tiramisu, cheesecake tarts, brownies, jellies, panna cotta, ice cream, there's such a great selection there. So after that section, we move on to the fresh fruit and salad selection. So they have some sauces as well and some Asian flavoured noodle salads and cheese and pasta. And then if you walk on over to this section, we've got some cured meats, some salmon, and some soup. And then we move on to my favourite section, which is the sashimi station. And they have a board showing you what's on offer for the day. I definitely visited this station a couple of times. <laughs> And then we move on to kind of like the main section of the buffet. So this is the fresh seafood section. So we've got some lobster, some crab legs, some clams, some crawfish, some mussels, um, some more crab legs and some prawns. And if we follow the buffet around, the section to the left and this section here offers you a range of meat, seafood and veggie cooked dishes. Then there are the chefs behind the counters that serve you a range of dishes from all around the world such as congee, soups, carved meats and curries and that's just to name a few. This final station offers some classic Chinese style cooked meats like barbecue pork, roasted chicken, peking duck and there's also some black truffle and caviar toast. Yeah, hotel icon. Round one, what have we got Anne? Black truffle with caviar and thing. Thing? <laughs> yes. We've got uh, ham hock and we've got something beefy. We've got beef short rib. We've got duck corn thick. We've got roasted pork, because I've never seen it to that. A piece of chicken, pork belly, and stuffed conch shell. Okay. Basically, he got all the meat. <laughs> I'm hungry. Nice. Very nice. I'm gonna go get mine. Okay, my plate's not that full, but I don't wanna mix everything together. <laughs> I think my second round will be more seasoned. But we've got battered corn, comfy duck, the cod shell thing. These are prawns in Maggie sauce. They're huge, by the way. Like, massive. Braised pork or something and some short rib. And then I got uh, this double cooked chicken coconut and snow fungus soup. This is like really iconic. Yeah, super nice. I'm excited to eat. This is so hard to film with one hand. This soup was so rich and creamy in texture and it was so flavorful as well. Obviously it has a chicken base, but the hints of coconut and the snow fungus really lifted it and made the flavor really well-rounded and balanced and so moreish. Gonna capture really your reaction for this um, soup. Go, go, go. Oh, I'm so well. Why are you confused? <laughs> I'm confused, it's just really familiar. Right. <laughs> this is not white. I don't know how I'm going to eat the conch shell. Alright, we've got the... Thank you. 
Barbecue, roasted, potato, so good. Just like this. The batter reminds me of um, chicken balls <laughs> from home. This is Chinese cake. I just took a bite of this pork belly. Oh my god. It was like melting in my mouth. This is the short rib. It's got a really nice charred flavour to it. The normally green. I guess it can be. Second round is all about seafood. I finally got my sashimi. So we've got the mussel. I think this is a crawfish which I've never had before. We have a crab leg. Um, goes over here. Scallop and salmon sashimi. My sashimi. Oh, big. This walnut cheese is good shit. Yeah with your walnut cheese. Oh, no. I might just get salmon steamy for the rest of the night now. And then we got some durian things to try. Oh, we also got garlic. Like this is a durian fried like 
roll, <laughs> I don't know what to call it, and some homemade jerry and ice cream, and then a jerry and cheese tart that I smushed oh. up, but we'll see if we like it, I can smell it already. <laughs> durian like spring roll and they said to eat this with the durian ice cream this is like the homemade ice cream but they also have one that comes out the front break into this first i don't actually like durian i've never had it before so we'll see what happens that's what it looks like inside Break it up a bit more, but it's just disintegrating. Okay. They said to eat this with the ice cream too, so. That's a lot of ice cream, yo. Oh, this is yours, Anne. No, that's too much. Okay, this is one bite. Looks wretched. And it looks kind of pretty. The smell is. Okay, cheers. Cheers. like durian it's good but if you don't like durian <laughs> after we recovered from our durian shock we took a stroll down TST harbour to walk off our food babies overall it was a really fun dining experience and we had a great opportunity to try lots of different seafood and fun foods like the durian desserts my fave dishes were probably the chicken soup Tom Yum, and I think Aunt's favourite was actually the walnut cheese. This walnut cheese is good shit. They also provide breakfast and lunch buffets as well, and if you are a fan of durian, I believe they also offer a afternoon tea set which is all durian based, so hopefully you would enjoy that a bit more than me and Aunt would. And that brings us to the end of the video, so if you've ever been to the market or you're planning to go, please let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Oh. Oh, my nipple. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Free the nipple. Free the nipple.